This is Sam Phillips uh, reporting for Liberation Brew TV, and we're at Public Square in Cleveland, Ohio, and trying to report the stories. And uh, I was just walking through here, and I seen these five people um, trying to feed the homeless and the disadvantaged. Uh, Ma'am, um, uh, why were you out here today for? Oh, well, my husband and I, for 20 years now, have been called downtown to the ministry for the homeless and the broken people as God led us to come forth. And um, we're just here to help people, to give them coats and, and food to eat, and, and to hear mainly the word of God that Jesus is Lord of their life. And it changes them. And we've seen many people change. Heroin addicts set free, crack addicts set free, alcoholics set free. God is moving down here powerfully and changing lives. Have you seen a lot more people, um, you know, fall through the cracks of society and are hurting that needs food and homes and oh, clothing. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. We even have children that come through here, families that are kicked out on the streets and uh, it, it's sad. It's a sad thing. Uh, do you think Jesus would be appalled if he was walking the streets today and see what's yes, happening? He would. And yes, absolutely. Yes, he would. But this is where the Lord wants us to be. He wants us out in the streets. He wants us ministering and touching the lives of the broken. And that's where he was. He wasn't sitting in the I'm churches. Listening. He wasn't he sitting, you know, in the government seats. He was out doing the work and touching lives, healing, delivering, and saving souls mightily. And that's where we're at. We're here doing the same exact thing, and we're praising I'm God while we do it. <laughs> okay, I was watching the news yesterday today at Walmart, all these shoppers was out and they trampled this poor woman down to get some DVD it's players. It's really like and, that. you know, it seems like, could you tell anybody that, that believes in Jesus and what he stood for that's out there in the TV audience that it's not about shopping and it's not about greed and requiring more material stuff, but, a, but about serving uh, your fellow human being? <laughs> exactly. I'm sorry, that's one of our people down here. Uh, yes, it, what it is is that th this season is, is definitely gone astray from the truth. And the truth is that Jesus Christ was born for this world to die and set us free. And that we are sinners and we need to repent. And it's gone so far into tradition and so far into money uh, that, that people are concerned about buying, making money, making millions at this season. And, and that's not what our hope is. Our hope is is that our hope is that we bring people Jesus and they see that we are going to comfort them, bring them blankets, shelter them, and this is where the love of God would truly be, not out on the streets. Well, God bless you. you no, know, Walmarts and stuff. God bless well, you, brother. Well, this is Sam Phillips reporting for Liberation Brew TV, and there's good people that walk among us. I feel like I lost my soul at the age of 25, and then I'm wandering in the wilderness, and I get thrown out of every place I go. And people don't want to see me coming because I'm, I'm from Beachwood. I, I held the finest jobs. I'm from Beaumont School for Girls. This isn't fair. Something's wrong here. I tried. God knows I tried. I struggled. I don't know what I'm doing out there screaming in the wilderness for money, for booze and cigarettes. And I don't know why there's nothing else that can satisfy me. Okay. Over here on my right also, we have the famous worldwide Tower City. A lot of times, like on Sundays and on like on the weekend, like Friday to Saturday to Sunday, they kick a lot of the homeless out of there because they don't have no money, they have no place to go. Well, I'm not saying that all of them don't have any money, but sometimes even when you buy a cup of coffee in here, they kick you out. They kick the homeless out because they don't they have no place to go. Um, and they know it, and they just want the people down here that's financially, well, better off, fell off. Okay, thank you. Sir, what is your name? Uh, uh, Frank. Frank. Okay. Frank. How long have you been homeless, sir, Mr. Frank? Oh, not too long. Or in your hand, whatever no, you guys Not too long. Thank our Heavenly Father, Jehovah God, and His Son, Jesus Christ, for programs like this, because without programs like this, many people would not eat. This is Sam Phillips reporting for Liberation Brew TV, and the people are being fed, the homeless people in the cold, trying to get some food. I met a woman that needs some clothes and a coat. What kind of society do we have when we can send $87 billion over to Iraq, and people have billions of dollars in their bank account? Where's the heart? This is Sam Phillips reporting for Liberation Brew TV from downtown Cleveland. How much are you doing today? 
Joseph. Okay, my name is Bob Hoffer. We have a ministry here that we love coming down here. Our man that's in charge for 18 years is out hunting deer so we could have meat for the winter for soup and that for our people down here. We feed them, we clothe them, and we give them the gospel of good news. So we believe a whole gospel for a whole man, and that's our ministry here. Okay? God bless. I want to talk now. <laughs> I just got a 20. I'm on top of the world. <laughs> The addition of the soup. It's cold out here. There's this poor woman that don't even have a coat. And these fine people are going to get her some clothes after they finish dishing up the soup. Say that, that they always try and nourish the people and be so sweet to them. Every time I call, you know, they're really gentle and thank them for being here. And so I hope that we all try and have this, you know, giving for others. And so I try and have something for people. Oh, geez, that's so sweet. I hope you'll send her, you know, because I don't eat that much high fat. Is that low fat cheese? And plus, I don't eat the white bread. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll eat some of the cheese. All right. And there's a lot of people hungry and cold. And what kind of society do we live in to let its citizens live out in this freezing cold? Uh, I'm Paul. Uh, this is the only church that I have. Uh, evangelist of Antoinette kind of used. God used her to draft me into helping out with praying for people, uh, helping out with the homeless, uh, being down here, just showing my face. Uh, I don't have a regular church right now because of scheduling. I've got a house or a home, but if things go the way I think they will, I'm going to lose that because I can't pay for the uh, can't pay the property taxes or any of the bills. Man's got to eat. And uh, I work, but with what I make and my brothers make, we can't, still can't pay the bills. Because we got to eat, and this is a way that we can eat. You know, God's help, we're able to eat. Thank God we're able to, we're living. We still have a shelter. But I know that can be taken away from us if someone decides to uh, pull some muscle or whatever in regards to getting a four thousand dollar gas bill paid uh, not paid off which is a screw up on the gas company's part and uh can't even pay the property taxes house is going to be taken from us by the county if we can't get money for that other bills too the city came in right now and saw the condition of our house they shut us down kick us out because we need can't get her fixed up the way it's supposed to be. Other people need to come down and help us out too. Thank you. This is Sam Phillips reporting for Liberation Brew downtown Cleveland and I'm doing a story about uh, hunger in America. Uh, sir, um, uh, what are you here uh, for? What I'm here for is because I'm looking for a job. I've been looking for a job for last year and a half. I only could find part-time jobs, and they don't last very long. I'm trying to find a full-time job. I'm a machinist. I got my machinist certificate, and I'm also a die maker, welder, also a TV repairer. And I've been knocking on all the doors I could possibly knock on downtown, downtown here in, in the west side trying to find a full-time job. I'm, help me, man. I need a full-time job so I can make a living. This way I don't have to live down there at the shelter. You see what I'm saying? I don't, I don't go around panhandling or anything like that. If I can help somebody out, I'll help them out, you know. But the, the only help I, I need is a full-time job. I, you know, I did 28 years in the penitentiary and they put me in the shelter. You see where I'm coming from? Mm -hmm. And I'm looking for a full-time job. You know, I can get part-time job, but they don't last very long. If anybody out there can find me a full-time job, I'm a hard worker, I'm persistent, I'm, I'm willing to work. I don't care what type of work. I've done roofing, I'm a router, I'm a machinist, you know. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll paint the terminal tower if you want, you know. <laughs> uh, your name in case uh, anybody that sees this might want to get a hold of you? Yeah, John Noel Alleman. Sir, um, what is your name and, and uh, how long have you been coming down here and try to feed the poor and, and make them have a brighter day? 
Well, my name is Eugene Jackson, and I've been coming down for a little over a year now. Me and another brother at the church where we fellowship, Church on the Mount, we uh, started, you know, just coming down, trying to just give hope, and we started passing out Bibles, and we just seen the need, and, and we just thought, what else could we do, more or less, to, you know, help, and we started, uh, just brought it to our church and got a few other people involved and now we're preparing food for for the homeless and we got you know clothes and articles of clothes and things of that nature just we're just trying to give those that might need it just trying to give them a word and pray with someone that needs prayer and just just like the lord said you know just showing the love of christ and hoping that they see it as the love of christ and that it might spark something in their lives my name is mr washburn and i like to tell you how how it is out of there's a lot of hungry people going hungry out here. There's a lot of people losing jobs. There's a lot of homeless out here. And it seems like the world no more don't care. And I don't, I'm not, where I feel, I'm very lucky. I'm homeless myself, but at least I have a job. I work at the Sailors and Soldiers Monument, which is right across on Ontario and Euclid Avenue. It's sad to see that, that so many people, and that, that it's even getting worse, and the economy is getting worse, and I'm afraid that there's going to be more and more people out here being homeless. We need to do something about the situation, do something about it fast. We need more jobs. The programming should have been better set up than what it was. Instead of everybody saying, well, everything's okay and everything's good. It's not good. It's not okay. And that's the truth. Thank you.